Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brian Miller over here at Miller Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to do a little unboxing uh, of some Final Approach Spoonbill decoys. The live Spoonbills, the EVA Classic. We'll open them up. We also uh, are going to compare them to what my current shoveler decoy is. The old GHG Spoonbill. Um, I really really like this decoy um it uh when i first saw them I've, I've seen some other shoveler decoys i thought the attention to detail on uh this ghg was fantastic um love having the shovelers in the spread um few reasons one uh this white is awesome to to get attention two if there's an area I don't want the mallards to land, uh, I can kind of pack in some shoveler decoys and push them to the other side of the spread. Uh, with the GHGs, uh, something you won't see in these final approaches, uh, there is a hen decoy. Um, not really a big thing, but I think it's a pretty decoy. It looks nice. Uh, Greenhead Gear definitely did a good job on these decoys. Uh, they are your standard uh, hard plastic decoy all right so let's uh let's crack into these final approach decoys um i've not opened them i've waited for like two weeks to open these to get a chance to uh to shoot the video uh so we're gonna get these open we're gonna take a look at them uh my initial impression and then we'll compare them to these ghgs uh I'll show you the difference. You can tell me what you think, uh, and I'll tell you what I think. Hey, don't forget uh, to go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, if you like this video, it'd be awesome. Help me out, let folks know they're watching. Um, in the comments, uh, leave, some, uh, leave some comments on what you wanna see. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna get a snow goose comparison, uh, decoy comparison pretty soon, a loadout video. So you just tell me what you wanna see, and uh, I'll make it happen. All right, let's crack open these spoonies. All right, before I finish opening them, quick little plug here. Uh, bah, I mean, I say plug, I don't get anything for it. But these uh these little duck finishers, uh they are fantastic for uh you got a cripple live duck and you wanna you know instead of wringing its neck, something that you can uh you wanna mount, you just wanna finish quick, don't have to make a lot of movement. Um take your take your bird, this goes right into the back of the head. Um very, very nice. Um, I'm actually about to give one of the, I've got a new one on my lanyard over here. Uh, I'm about to pass this one on to one of my help. But anyways, that's what I had handy to open up the box. All right, so without any, without any more delay. All right, first thing on top of this box, a little final approach decal, little stickers for everybody likes stickers. And man, They are colorful. I love that feeding position because uh, that's how you see these spoonies all the time. Uh, head down filtering. It's an EVA soft plastic. You can see it dents in right there. Got a little flex to him. Uh, keel. They don't break that keel when it's cold. Three attachment points. I really like them. Right, I'm going to set the hen off to the side here. We'll set these spoonies up here next to each other so you can get a look. Now let's keep digging in here. This pack is all drakes. This is another feeder. It's like a uh, 
somebody over there at Final Approach got a little wild with the yellow paint. Got a little, little extra yellow up there on his head, but really that's no big deal. Uh, let's see if we can find a different position. Looks like we got three feeders and three uprights. I think that's what the box says. Yep. Three, three feeders. All right. Let's get a little closer. Really good detail on these. Great color. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but I think a spoony uh, shoveler, whatever you want to call them, in full plumage is really one of the prettier ducks out there. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you there's a little, I guess a little extra right there. Maybe that's just glue. Hopefully that's just glue. I don't know. Yep, it's just glue. A little, uh, little adhesive or something from the packaging or from the, uh, from the factory. But man, um, I got my first set of EVA decoys, uh, EVA floater decoys. I've got some, some, uh, some snow geese set it that way. My first floaters I got uh, for teal season and some Avian X teal. Um, and I really like the EVA. That's, uh, I, I think it cleans up a little easier. Um, I don't know. We'll see in the long run. I did have to clean up on this, uh, GHG quite a bit. Uh, I fished some minnow ponds, or not fish, hunt some minnow ponds. Um, and I scrubbed on him pretty good trying to get the white to show again. Um, these are only a year old. They're not even a full year old. Um, I bought them mid-season last year. Um, but they've worn well. Color's still good on them. Um, but here is the side-by-side -side comparison. The GHG is a little bigger. Um, as far as width, um, there's more feather detail here in this final approach. You really can get a good look at some detail. I'm not sure which one I like better. I guarantee you they'll both be in my spread. Um, they're nice. The, the, all right, last look at them. There you go, side by side. I'm not sure. Maybe a little too close there. Put this uh, GHG back down. I really like it. Like I said, the EVA was a huge plus for me. Um, the fact that I were all six mallards. Um, I mean, as pretty as that spoonbill hen is that GHG's got, really, I don't buy the spoonbills for the hens. I buy them for the drakes. Uh, a, brown, a brown duck is a brown duck. Um, and I mean, brown ducks are good in the spread, but I mean, that white and that flash, that's, what I, that's why I got them. That's what I wanted them for. So anyways, final approach. EVA live uh, spoonbills, northern shovelers. That's what it looks like. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I look forward to hunting over them this year. Uh, we see lots of spoonbills in Arkansas. They're a rice field special. So, all right. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments, uh, things you like, things you didn't like, what you want to see me do better, uh, and what you want to see some videos of. We'll see you later.